the championship oh, wow. at 125 pounds in Class A. David Miller, unbeaten sophomore, 34-0 from Kearney, meeting Jeff Jokers, a 27-3 junior from Ralston in Class B. It'll be Mike Albrecht, 33-1, a senior from Flatview, facing off against Justin Edom of Ogallala, who's 34-4, a sophomore in Class C. Ryan Nicolite, 31 and 7, a junior from Hershey, meeting Roderick Boss, 30 and 2, a junior from David City. And in Class D, Cole Wilmer, 31 and 1, a senior from Rushville, facing Chad Obermiller, 19 and 4, a junior from Blue Hill. And match is underway at 125 pounds. And again, let's reiterate what you said, R.J. Omaha Gross, four-time state champion, team-wise, never been done before. I know they've got some happy seniors over there that are able to say. They were part of it all four years. In Class A, David Miller, this is the second year in a row we've seen him in the finals. Last year, he lost to Renard Terrell of Omaha North, who we just saw him win his second straight title. That was his only loss. That's, in fact, the only loss of his career. Boy, very quickly indeed, we have a, almost a pin situation as Cole Wilner of Rushville, he gets the takedown and now has uh, Chad Obermiller of Blue Hill in a pinning combination, he does get three near fall points to go up five to one as Wilner got the escape. So five one in the first period as uh, leading that was Cole Wilner of Rushville over Chad Obermiller of Blue Hill. And there goes Wilner right with another takedown. A lot of action there in Class D and it's a seven one lead now for Wilner. Over in Class B, Mike Albrecht jumping out to an early lead with a quick takedown over Justin Edom from Ogallala. Albrecht from Springfield Platteview. He's ranked number one, 33 and one. He's a four-time qualifier, never placed, and this year he's in the finals. I think, I think one state title would make him happy. It, it'd make up for those three years that he didn't take home any medals. Well, you know, we're talking about Cole Wilner. Thinking him, he's 31 and one. He was third last year, second as both a freshman and sophomore. So he's going to be a four-time medalist. He'd like to get the gold, but right now he is on his way as he gets uh, another takedown, leading it nine to two. We, we have, have a pin. pin. David Miller. Gets the first period pin with one minute and 44 seconds. Boy, that happened fast. Excuse me, one minute and 34 seconds. And the crowd from Carney really enjoying that one as they bring a big crowd down here. Miller, just a sophomore, goes undefeated. Again, he was a runner-up last year, but he beats Jeff Jokers of Ralston. Jokers to three-time state medalist, but finishes at 27 and four. But what a job by David Miller. That happened really quick. Well, I said this last year, and I kind of stuck my foot in my mouth, but I, I still stick claim to this, that I think David Miller is possibly technically one of the best wrestlers in the state right now, and he's just a sophomore. He's 68 and one as a sophomore. 50, he's 69 and one now, 57 pins. And, of course, the one lost to a two-time state champion. <laughs> That's right. He came in last year undefeated in the finals before losing to Terrell, the, the, the older, more experienced wrestler. In Class B, it is a 2 to nothing lead for Mike Albrecht of Platteview over Justin Edom of Ogallala. In Class C, we have a 4-2 lead with Roderick Boss of David City leading Ryan Nicolite of Hershey, a boss who ranked number one coming in, was a state runner-up last year. Nicolite placed fifth last year at 106 pounds, so he's come up quite a bit in weight. Uh, Ryan Nicolite from Hershey, again, uh, Roderick Boss from David City, a very solid wrestler indeed, and again, leading it four to two as they get ready for the second period. It's still, it's still, oh, now we just had a reversal by Justin Enum of Ogallala on, on the Class B mat. He ties it up with Mike Albrecht of Springfield Platteview, two to two. That was smart wrestling. One thing you'll see, the good quality wrestlers, like we're seeing here in the finals, score a lot right at the end of the period. Cole Wilner of Rushville leading in Class D over Chad Obermiller of Blue Hill, 11-5. And in uh, Class C now, we've had another uh, takedown for Roderick Boss of David City, and he goes up 6-2 to two over Ryan Nicolite of Hershey. So Boss uh, starting to take a little control in that match in the second period. So the closest match is in Class B between Justin Edom and Mike Albrecht. Albrecht, uh, there's another another takedown by Albrecht. And as you said, has never meddled in four, four appearances here, so he will definitely do that, and he'd like to have the goal. He's actually dedicating this season. His cousin was killed last year, Richard Brownsrither. He, he was killed by a drunk driver last year, and, and Mike Albrecht is dedicating this season to him. I'm sure he'd be real happy to dedicate a, a state championship to that. 
And Class D, it is really becoming a runaway. Now we may have a technical fall away. That's going at 16 to 5. Cole Wellner leading Chad Obermiller. Of course, if he gets up by 15, that'll end the match. In uh, Class C, Roderick Boss taking control, leading it 8 to 3. And now another uh, score taking place. It's 8 to 4. Here's, as, another, uh, here's a near fall situation. In Class D, Cole Wilner has Obermiller on his back again. 15 seconds to go. And Wilner has had two uh, pins on his way to the championship and goes up 19-5. Uh, to five. Obermiller able to get a reversal there as, as Wilner got a little loose. That makes the score 19-7. to seven. He's up by 12. One second remaining in the second period. Nothing will happen here. Scores it's four to four over in Class B between Albrecht and Justin Edom. And a takedown by Edom, and he throws a half deep right, right as he hit the takedown. Albrecht able to fight it off. They call a potentially dangerous situation to avoid any injury to the wrestler. If he's in a situation where he can't turn over, he can't move, they don't want to. They just want to make sure that 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 he doesn't get hurt, so they'll stop it and start him over. Things have tightened up a little bit in Class C. It's 8-5, to five. Roderick Boss leading it, and Boss uh, about right that time gets another two on a reversal. So Roderick Boss now leading it 10-5 to five over Ryan Nicolai of Hershey in Class C. In Class D, it's 19-8. Cole Wilner of Rushville leading Chad Obermiller of Blue Hill. And again, it's 6-4. to four. Justin Edom of Ogallala leading Mike Albrecht of Platteview in Class B. And already in Class A, David Miller won by pin in the first period over Jeff Jokerst of Ralston. Here's another situation that you were talking about earlier. Edom also has jumped up four weight classes this year. He was third last year at 100. He just got reversed by Mike Albrecht right at the end of the period. Another one right at the end of the period in, in both, of, both of those wrestlers' advantage. Did he get it? I think he might have got an escape and then a, a takedown. So it's seven to six now in Class B as uh, it's uh, Mike Albrecht hanging on to a one-point lead over Justin Edom of Ogallala. So that match has gone back and forth. And now it's uh, 21 to eight in Class D. Cole Wilner leading Chad Obermiller with 52 seconds left in that match. We've got a, an injury time over on, on the C-mat. Ryan Nicolite. Again, Pier appears to me he may have took a shot in the eye. Again, the team championships all locked up. Miller North in A, Omaha Gross in B. And now we have a near pin situation in Class B. On top is Edom. Edom trying to come from behind, trailing at 7-6. We'll definitely have near fall points. And it'll be a decision where he gets two or three out of this. It looks like uh, I think he's going to get two. No, he no, got he, three. He got the full three. The referees, I'm not sure why they actually stopped this, but they're discussing it. Maybe they're not sure. And it looks like uh, that should put Edom up now by two points, I believe. Yeah, that'll make the score 9-7 to seven in favor of Edom. So Justin Edom of Lo Lo Ogallala now leading Mike Albrecht to Platteview. So that match continues to go back and forth, and there's a lot of time left in that match, a minute 43. Only three seconds to go here in Class D, and it's going to be Cole Wilner winning the match 22 to 11. So Cole Wilner picks up a championship medal after being a state runner-up as a freshman and sophomore, plays third last year as a junior, and gets a state championship as a senior. What a way to cap off a brilliant career by Cole Wilner. Roderick Boss still in control. In Class C, 12 to 7, 49 seconds remaining. Both wrestlers are on their feet in the neutral position. I think it's quite an accomplishment to be a four-time medalist, and that's what Cole Wilner did, especially to be placed that high hell four years. That's quite a career for Cole four Wilner. Four-time medalist, three-time finalist. And Roderick Boss uh, continuing to have things under control with 30 seconds to go in Class C. Boss again from David City, a state runner-up last year. Looks like he'll be a state champion this year, leading at 12 to 7 over Ryan Nikolai. Unless Nikolai can really pull something off in a hurry. Edom doing a good job of riding Albrecht in Class B. It's a 9-7 lead for Justin Edom of Ogallala, who's on top with the orange and black singlet. On the bottom is Mike Albrecht, ranked number one coming in. Albrecht still going after it. And he should get at least an escape and give himself a chance. Well, maybe not. Uh, he, Great counter by uh, well, I, I think that was more of a, just a mistake on Albrecht's part. He probably should have took the escape. 
and then started working for the takedown. Instead, he started to press it a little bit, got himself in trouble. Now it's down under 30 seconds, and he's still down by two. So Eat Roderick, him doing a good job. Roderick Boss wins 12-7 in Class C. So one match remaining here at 125 pounds. As uh, it looks like now, Edom is going to be able to pull out the victory. Edom a sophomore, and boy, this is a big, big win for him. Only nine seconds to go now. Great match over in Class B, back and forth throughout the entire match. Oh, there's the escape, but it's going to be too little too late at the end of the match. So nine to eight victory for Justin Edom. What a job. And then the, the 12, and and the 12 to seven victory for, for Roderick Bross of David City. So some, uh, a big win for Edom. There's a look at Edom from, from Ogallala. Winning his first state title after placing third at 100 pounds last year in Class B. You know, as you notice, uh, Edom have that uh, black eye, and they kind of wear that like a badge. <laughs> Some of those kids don't, almost like having that black eye. That, gonna... that and the cauliflower ears. Yeah. Well, let's go ahead and recap uh, the championship matches now at 125 pounds. First of all, in Class A, David Miller, 34 and old, 35 and old now as he wins as a sophomore champion. Miller Carney winning by pin over Jeff Jokers to Brawlston in Class B. It's Justin Edom of Ogallala, 9-8 winner over Mike Albrecht of Platteview in Class C. Roderick Boss, a state champion from David City, a 12-7 victor over Ryan Nikolai of Hershey in Class B. Cole Wilner, 22 to 11 victor. Uh, Wilnard from Rushville winning over Chad Overmiller of Blue Hill. Now let's take a look at the pairings at 